Hola everyone, I am Puss in Boots, discussing my very own movie, featuring the voices of Antonio Banderas, Selma Hayek, Zach Galifianakis, and Billy Bob Thornton, and directed by Chris Miller. Sorry about that guys, I just wanted to pull out my Antonio Banderas' Puss in Boots voice. So I'm discussing this movie, and, and I don't remember too much coming into this one, except I remember going to theaters for it, but did I like it? Uh, let's get into it and we'll find out. We get a narration of who Puss in Boots is, and by Puss, returning voice of Antonio Banderas himself, as he's an outlaw and is almost captured until he sleeps while th with Rosa the Cat and wakes up the next morning and fights his capturer to get away as he was a bad kitty. As we move on to the Festival of the Fire, when he enters the bar and gets laughed at until he points out he is a wanted cat, while asking for a mission as they bring up Magic Beans from Jack and Jill, voiced by Billy Bob Thornton and Amy Sedaris. And this opening is clever while with the animation, and I like the following and I like following this character of Puss in Boots, as he was the best thing about Shrek too. Puss goes to steal from Jack and Jill the magic beans when he's encountered by a masked cat that and they get caught, and we get the two cats chasing each other as they have the same things in common as their legendary outlaws, and they dance, fight it off to the death. And this dialogue is funny at times, and is so is the dance moves as it ends with Puss snapping on the other cat because the cat wastes some milk and gets a little bit in his shoe and have a sword fight and hits the cat with a guitar as it's a girl. And she takes off and hide to hide from Puss until he senses Humpty Alexander Dumpty, voiced by Zach Galifianakis. And his presence in, yes, he is an egg, with Kitty Sawpaws, voiced by Selma Hayek, as they have a proposition for him to get the magic beans together. And Puss says no until Kitty talks him into it. After Puss telling the sad story of how Humpty betrayed Puss, and he tells it from the beginning when Puss was a kitten and was raised by a caretaker named Imelda in the church, and he meets Humpty as a kid while his mind was full of imagination and spend a lot of time together as brothers and create a partnership, and they grow up in a with a Fight Club reference which is the, the first thing, the first and second rule of the Bling Club is you do not talk about the Bling Club. And Puss becomes a hero by saving com com the Commandante's mother from a bill, from a bull, excuse me, that, and that's how he puts on the boots, hat, belt, and a sword while Humpty was in jail. And one night, Humpty tricks Puss into stealing some money from the bank and that's how he became an outlaw, which is a sad story. And I cared more for Puss and Kitty than any other character in this movie, but because they're cute together. Maybe it's because I have a sucker heart for cats. Puss reluctantly agrees to give Humpty a second chance. And he, along with Kitty, start by going to Jack and Jill's cart to steal the magic beans and get caught by Jack and Jill as she escapes, but not yet Puss as Humpty saves both cats and have chase a chase sequence that ends cleverly, and Humpty escaping with Puss and Kitty by flying away with a winged carriage, and while on the way to the location to plant the beans, Kitty is called Soft Paws because she has no claws, as they were taken out by owners for killing the hamster or something, which is an interesting story from Kitty herself while she was astray. They plant the magic beans and grow a beanstalk to the sky where they have helium voices briefly from thin air, which made me laugh as I always was a fan of helium voices. The two cats playing pouncing with each other was cute as well. Puss, Kitty, and Humpty walk on the clouds and to the castle of the giants, and they hide from the giants and fly through Humpty with Humpty's sliding and find a bunch of golden eggs while Humpty is dressed like a golden egg as one of is a golden goose because he, it poops gold get it and as they leave with it they get chased by a giant and they get back to the ground safely by waterfall 
And that was a beautiful piece of animation. Puss, Kitty, and Humpty celebrate. They have the Golden Goose by dancing. And as it ends, Puss and Humpty chat briefly. And Puss is knocked out by Jack and Jill and wakes up before eaten by the hawks. And Puss finds out Humpty screwed him over as Jack, Jill, and Kitty work for Humpty. And Puss is thrown in prison thanks to Humpty preparing to get Puss back from being in prison. And this movie is entertaining me straight up the bat. Puss is in prison with Andy Beanstalk, a.k.a. Jack, as he's an old man. And he tells Puss about Humpty's plan and makes the guard try to listen to by making a cute face and to let him out. And Kitty comes in to get him out. And she cares about him. And the guards fight the two cats as Kitty saves Puss's life and gets to Humpty and the Golden Goose as he tries to make Humpty do the right thing and tells him he'll forgive him as the Mama Goose comes to town and terrorizes it while Puss tries it to get uh, Mama Goose to follow him to get his baby back by Humpty's side. And Kitty stops Jack and Jill almost killing Humpty and, and but Kitty saves his life and Mama Goose grabs the rope but has Humpty and the Golden Goose and Humpty makes a choice for Puss to get, to save the Golden Goose or Mama or else Mama Goose will destroy the town and Humpty cuts himself down to death and Mama Goose takes Humpty to the clouds and Puss saves the day and this was an entertaining climax to for me to go through I will admit that out of the way now it's time for the rating. I'll give this movie a 7.1 out of 10. I like the two main characters, which were Puss and Kitty, more than any other character because they're cute together, which is something I look forward to in the sequel, as there were times the humor as well as the movie itself was clever. The animation is good but familiar, and there were times the movie was cute, and I do like this plot for it, for it was funny at times. The movie is entertaining me the entire time, and I had fun watching it again after a decade. It has been a decade since this came out. And this is a recommendation for the kids and families to watch before the new movie comes out. So I'd like to thank you guys for joining me, and I will be back next time with Puss in Boots, The Last Wish. And until then, Puss lived happily ever after.